Hello, friends. This week's devotion is titled, Beautiful Life, Part 1. Beautiful in Holy Scripture can mean what is fitting, appropriate, and fair, what is mature, intrinsically good, and beneficial. Beautiful is what God is and what pleases Him. It's how He operates. A beautiful life is for everyone who chooses to be transformed into it by Holy Spirit. The heavenly light of Christ is available to us to shine upon us and from within us, making us increasingly beautiful like He. The Shining One intercedes on our behalf to guide us in oneness with Him as perfect unity. This kind of harmony is Father's desire for us to live His best life above lesser things, to take dominion and expand His kingdom. A beautiful life is what He's highlighting to us right now as we come more into His light. Psalm 96 verse 6 tells us, Breathtaking brilliance and awe-inspiring majesty radiate from His shining presence. His stunning beauty overwhelms all who come before Him. So we see here that this purest beauty comes from Him as our source, who leads us in a life of significance beyond ourselves. It is appropriated by faith as we come near to experience Him in new ways. Our Lord desires that we become even lovelier sanctuaries of His presence. He desires that we take hold of His hand and receive more of His beauty in our lives. Who wouldn't want a more beautiful life? Ephesians 5 verses 8 through 10 remind us that once your life was full of sin's darkness, but now you have the very light of our Lord shining through you because of your union with Him. Your mission is to live as children flooded with His revelation light, and the supernatural fruits of His light will be seen in you, goodness, righteousness, and truth. Then you will learn to choose what is beautiful to our Lord. This transformation into a more beautiful life is its John 10.10 journey, where we must consistently choose good over evil, to be awakened to more of God's beauty, inwardly and outwardly. In this way, God offers us a tree of life, streaming from His righteousness, wisdom, and insight. We can choose to become a tree of life, planted by a river bank, always producing fruit and prospering in all we do. God has much for us forward, even beyond ourselves, and therefore desires to strengthen us in Him. Proverbs 11 verse 30 reminds us that a life lived loving God bears lasting fruit, for the one who was truly wise wins souls. In Revelation 22 verses 1 and 2, John says, The angel showed me water of life river, crystal bright, It flowed from the throne of God and the Lamb right down the middle of the street. The tree of life was planted on each side of the river, producing twelve kinds of fruit, a ripe fruit each month. The leaves of the tree are for healing the nations. So for us to be fruit-bearing instruments, God must be our center, just as the tree of life was center in the Garden of Eden aware that the tree of good and evil was also there. As we activate this tree of life wisdom by faith, we will walk out a life of complete beauty with God, no matter what our circumstances. We will see Him and know His beautiful way in the midst of any situation as we seek Him. Proverbs 3 verses 17 and 18 tell us, that the ways of wisdom are sweet, always drawing you into the place of wholeness. Seeking for her brings the discovery of untold blessings, for she is the healing tree of life to those who taste her fruits. The message version of Proverbs 3 verses 17 and 18 
reiterates this by saying, Her manner is beautiful, her life wonderfully complete. She's the very tree of life to those who embrace her. Hold her tight and be blessed. Friends, God is bringing completeness to our hearts, some assignments and areas of our lives, past, present, and future. He is our completer who matures us and makes our lives beautiful. His higher ways will produce an outcome beyond what we can think or imagine. So do you trust him? A couple of weeks ago, he revealed to me that it's a new day. He confirmed this by the same scripture that he highlighted years ago to me before he led me into the wilderness. In this, I realized that the same word that leads us closer to him inwardly also leads us to awaken outwardly. This word is Song of Songs 2 verse 13, which says, Can you not discern this new day of destiny breaking forth around you? The early signs of my purposes and plans are bursting forth. The budding vines of new life are now blooming everywhere. The fragrance of their flowers whispers. There is change in the air. Arise, my love, my beautiful companion, and run with me to the higher place. For now is the time to arise and come away with me. Friends, God is doing new things in our lives right this moment. Are we seeing it? Are we sinking with him? Are we laying down old ways and picking up his new? He desires that we come into his fulfillment of promises to prove out our beautiful lives as living testimonies. There is so much more to share. So join me next week for part two of Beautiful Life.